Are you worried that ChatGPT might steal our jobs as a web developer? Then don't worry. In this video, we will discuss about why ChatGPT is not a threat for our jobs yet. So hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, framework and the technologies like this. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. So first of all, I bet you know what is ChatGPT and it's all over internet now what is ChatGPT and how it helping us and some of you might be terrified that it might take our jobs. If you don't know about what is ChatGPT, so ChatGPT is a product from OpenAI and it's a generative pre-trained transformer layer with natural language processing. So what is do? It, it has pre-trained generated data. It will pre-trained with the billions of text we have in the internet and it can generate the next text according to the previous text we have and it use natural language processing that means you will feel like it's a natural language or humanly language that's why it's so popular and so terrifying for some people but don't worry we'll see why it's not first of all we should consider or we should know that chat gpt is just a tool it doesn't have its own agenda because we human made this and it doesn't have its own agenda i hope it's not and in this video i'm not going to show you how we're gonna use chat gpt to ask them to create an app and all because it's all over the internet why i'm making this video is just to let you guys know that don't afraid of new technologies don't afraid of chat gpt or any ai that matters so it happens throughout the human history as a human will develop as a human will try to increase our capacity and try to adapt new things to help ourselves so chat gpt is just one of them think like a scenario like we we have only mechanical motor vehicle no electrical parts nothing when the electronics came when the software came the mechanical engineers all the mechanics still has their jobs but we got a great product it's not about only the self-drive it's about a lot of things like before the self-drive came the software has been embedded to the automobile long back so it just helps to go to the next level and to achieve what each possible or what can be done by using different technologies and i will not say about all the sector because because i don't have much experience or any experience that matter so we'll go and deep dive, dive into web development or programming or computer science that matters and i remember when the first ai came to the market it's everywhere that it's going to take our jobs it will start recommending things it start building our things which is happening slowly but it's not taking our job. What it's doing is it's helping us as a developer or as a designer to do better jobs. Like suppose you have AI which recommends user. Without AI, it's not possible at all. It's possible according to the some conditional base, but that is not effective. So with AI, we are able to embed it and increase our applications quality or user experience so that your business will go up and you will get much revenue. It's obvious that all the companies will use AI to fast their work and we should also adapt AI to improve ourselves and improve our application. But you might ask, so bro, there are lots of videos and lots of posts that chat GPT is a risk for our job. So there are two reasons. One reason is yes, it might reduce some amount of people required for a job. It happens always. Like it's not the first time it's happening. Like with the chat GPT, it's happened when we invented scripting language. Like a lot of data entry job went away. It's still there, but you can do that in a scripting. Before that, you, you need suppose 10 people to enter the data. Now you need two person just to monitor the data. And that's how human evolution happened. It's create a new job to write the things and it creates new job with the scripting languages. So there is a whole new paradigm has been created for the scripting languages. So similar will happen with all the technologies. And the second one, fears always sales. So all the people are trying to make a videos on, everyone is trying to make by giving so that you will click on the videos and watch them by 
think what might happen to me but that's not good you are not getting the whole picture i saw a lot of videos like where people are saying chat gpt can create an app and now we don't need us think like before how we are working suppose as a newcomer you came and you don't know how to use angular you will search on google and you get the angular documentation page and you'll do that the same thing will happen in chat gpt you will you will write that and you'll got the prompt what to do which you are getting in the google always google means angular documentation or other articles or videos and we're implementing that in your application the similar thing will happen with chat gpt as well and the same thing will goes on like suppose you don't know how to implement a thing what you used to do b- before you go and search on google and you got some answer maybe from stack overflow or and from some articles now we'll get that from chat gpt and chat gpt is not 100% correct you need to reconfirm that with some other sources because in google we are getting lots of source and we can verify that everything is right or wrong but in chat gpt you are just getting one answer if you don't know and if it's the topic is new to you you just believe that and try to act upon that obviously when when you apply that and you will know that it's wrong then you will go and research again or re ask chat gpt so this is wrong so you'll we'll get it lot faster but chat gpt will evolve and always ai evolution is a exponential curve so what happens in last year might happen in a month what i meant is what chat gpt has learned in two year it might learn in in it one or two month again and lot of rules might come uh, to the chat gpt what it can do what it can't do like suppose for example you can give a piece of code and ask chat gpt to find the vulnerability and and it it will say you that is a vulnerability which is not good because it gives the hackers a way a easier way to attack with some application if they got access to the code which is easier for the front end point of view so what i want to say is don't worry much just think like chat gpt is a helpful buddy which you, which is there to help you whenever you stuck and you can use the chat gpt to get the latest technology to improve your writing skill and to improve how to make the code efficient so that you will get some ideas which you can search later on google and get those things the one thing might take our job is to not to evolve ourselves the world is going in a rapid pace if we don't evolve ourselves every day a little then it is a bigger risk than thinking about chat gpt might take our job slowly if you start learning a small thing each day and at the end you will learn a lot that's how you can beat your fear by upskilling yourself so just do it just do upskill yourself i'm not saying take any courses you know where to find things we have everything in our fingertips you have the data you have the information you just need to learn so don't worry guys chat gpt is here to help us and is here to increase our efficiency increase our application performance and make our application better so suppose previously you are in- integrating a chat application in your app now you can use the chat gpt and it will be like a human is talking on behalf of you and that is great it will save lot of your time so use chat gpt and don't be afraid of new advancement in human history so this is subrat and we'll going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye